Hey guys, welcome to the next day of Halloween week. I'm hanging out on the roof here, about to enjoy some delicious ice cream. So I went to Baskin Robbins here in Japan, and I grabbed their latest seasonal flavors. So we got the uh, the flavor journal here, and uh, yeah, they've got they've got some Halloween flavors going on. They've got uh, this pumpkin one here. It's a pumpkin sweet potato kind of thing. I'm not, not super crazy about that, but I also picked up something called Funky Franken, Frankenstein flavor, and a, a Vampire Dolce, Vampire Dolce. So I got three of their Halloween flavors. For some reason, they're also lumping cotton candy in as one of their, their featured flavors. I didn't get it because I got a set that comes with three, three different flavors and I opted for those three instead. So let's dive into the Baskin Robbins ice cream here and you can see it says Baskin Robbins but in Japan nobody would ever know what you're talking about if you said I'm going to Baskin Robbins. You got to say I'm going to 31. So it was stinking hot in there. I don't know how they survive but I did order it to go. Oh, nice. They gave me a little uh, a little bit of a lid as well to protect it. So three small little balls. They called it a triple, triple pop or something like that. Franken, Dolce, Vampire Dolce, and the sweet potato pumpkin thing. So yeah, I'm excited about this. And you can see they've got a thematic container and she oh yes okay she promised me that she put a spoon in the bag as well so yay for her i can open this there we go okay let's dive into the triple cup now i guess i could have got a it in a cone or whatever but somehow i i prefer the cup so yeah let's just start at the top and work our way down you can see they're kind of small they're they're like golf ball golf ball sized balls, maybe a little, little bigger. This set was 570 yen. So here we go, Franken. It's got chocolate, it's got caramel, um, and it's got pistachio, and it might have something else, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, here we go. Mmm, that was good. It's kind of nutty. Funky Franken. Mmm, very tasty. Okay, next, let's work our way down to the uh, sweet potato slash pumpkin flavor. You can see it's like a yellow, yellow color, col yellow color with uh, bits of purple, which I guess is a sweet potato and chunks of pumpkin, maybe. Well, there's orange in there. Here we go. It was very pumpkin-y. Let me just see if they have a description. Okay, so it says it's a pumpkin pudding flavor, which is pretty dominant here, but also has choco bits and bits of cookie in it as well. So that was the crunchy bits. Um, yeah, very, very pumpkin pudding flavor. Now in Japan, when they say pumpkin, they're not, they're not talking about pumpkin spice. They're just talking about pure pumpkin. And that's exactly what it is. It's pretty sweet though. At first I thought I could only get like a two piece. They had a cup that had two. Um, and I was gonna get Franken and Dracula. But then I, I saw, oh, there's three. Eh, might as well get, you know, might as well get their, their feature flavor as well, even though, I don't know. So far, Franken is winning. But maybe it's a popular flavor. Let me know, does pumpkin sound uh, like a good flavor to you? Not, not pumpkin spice, mind you, just pumpkin. Very sweet pumpkin flavor. Okay, finally, let's get into the Dracula, Dracula Dolce, or Vampire, Vampire Dolce, Dolce, I think they called it. And supposedly it has like a blood orange kind of thing going on. So uh, yeah, here we go. Oh wow, like a sherbet, a sherbet flavor, but there's a bit of like tanginess to it, like not, not sweetness like not really sour but you know when you you like have grapefruit juice or something it's got i guess that is kind of sour well not like a lemon but there's something something tangy going on let me see what's in this one 
It pretty much says blood orange. I mean, there's a white part that you can see there, but it doesn't really describe what that is. Um, yeah, it has a bit of a tangy, tangy flavor, kind of like a sherbet. It, it said it's, uh, it doesn't contain alcohol. I'm, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting it to contain alcohol, but maybe some people thought it might. I'm glad I could try three of them, and I'm glad they're kind of small. The clear winner to me is Franken, um, cookie, chocolate, pistachio, and caramel. Sounds really good. Oh, it is. Mm. Definitely the best one, but I'm not disappointed. Like I said, I'm glad I could try a variety of them. Usually my go-to, I like, uh, like chocolate mint here in Japan. It's kind of rare, but uh, Baskin Robbins always has it. A lot of Japanese don't like it, you know, tastes like toothpaste, they say. But yeah, I go for Choco Mint, and quite often I like like a, a cherry flavor, like a black cherry or something like that is also good. Um, but yeah, these are all fun to try. I'm glad I wasn't stuck with just one, you know, a lot of one of these flavors, and I could try all three. But let me know down below what your favorite or what your go-to flavor is at Baskin Robbins. I know every year, well, almost every year, I don't think I did last year, but I often, for Halloween, check out their ice cream flavors. And they've had a few good ones over the years. I do remember there was one that was called Midnight Mint that was quite good. I can't remember what they had last year because I don't think I tried it. But uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're always fun to try and they're always thematic. So uh, yeah, once again, let me know what is your go-to or what is your favorite flavor at Baskin Robbins and do you have any of these flavors where you live? And if so, would you try them? So that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me once again for another episode of Halloween. See you guys tomorrow for the next installment. I've been eating a lot of sweets lately. Um, I don't know if I can find anything that's not sweet for Halloween, but uh, Here's hoping. See you guys in the next one.